Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this part, I'm going to explain to you about how we can update the data using Angular, right? So before starting that, we need to understand the concept that we have another button where we can click on it and it will open up the detail and that detail will be populated on the, you know, on the input fields and that's how we can update the data, right? So we have to follow all the steps, right? But before going that, I'm gonna again review you how we have updated the employee. So a very basic API that we have created. So I just copy that method and let's get, get into the employee controller and you could see that it's very basic like we have the request and the id we it will find the id if it's null it's going to show us that there is no employee found with the respective id and on the other case it will update all the requests right so it's a very basic function that we all use so i hope it all makes sense if you can watch this video i highly suggest that before going to that but if you are if you have experience then you don't need to watch that just simply use it for understanding the basic concept all right so i hope you will like this video right so let's uh, jump into the uh, action for the added button right so first i'm going to do here in this concept is to just go back here and uh, i need to create a component a specific component where we can add it the employees inside the components folder so let's create another component so ngg for generate c for comp uh, for the components and inside the components folder i'm going to create here the employee dash added the name of my component which is employee dash added and let's press enter and this is going to generate uh, another folder with the respective four files right so this is going to create the employee dash added all right so the first thing has been done the next thing you need to do is to go inside your employee dash added dot that's fine i believe first you need to go inside your employee dot component dot html file all right so this is the file where you can add an option for the added button, right? So uh, for doing that, all you need to do is to follow up the concept, which is very important because if I just want to, if I just copy that and just inside the table data, all right, so I bring up here some space and after that delete button, I'm gonna create another button with the BDN BDN dash warning, which is the bootstrap class. I just bring some margin too for uh, keeping the space between the delete and the added button. So we, here is another link, which is the router link. Now, now you could see, you will be amazed that from where this router link is coming from. And that's fine that we are getting the loop of data. We get the ID just like we get the ID for the delete. But how we can how we can add the added uh, link? But as far as you understand, for the home page, if you go to the app.module.ts file, we created here at the app roots, right? So we have to follow up the same trick here that we need to bring up our, our employee added component, right? So already you could see the component has been generated automatically inside the app.module.ts. So we have to bring our path in. So you need to just simply put here comma and here you need to define here path and let's bring up here added. And because added have some specific ID because we need to add the uh, specific uh, detail option for the added button. Uh, definitely it has its specific ID to add it uh, because we don't need to update all the data. So we need to bring up here an ID. So how we can do that, it's simply you need to bring here added slash colon and bring here an ID, all right? So after that, the name of the component, which in my case is added component. So let's uh, simply type here employee added component all right so just simply press enter and that's gonna uh, add up here all right and uh, it's automatically added up inside the declarations as well right so we are good with that now let's go back and see okay so we have our router link with the employee.id okay that's that's fine but uh there are more uh there are more things to understand here uh, but before going to here, I need to refresh this, go and open up our console. If there is any error or so, that's all fine. Um, let's refresh that again. I have created a button, right? Um, yeah, I haven't saved it. So let's save that and see. Now we have our added button. Now, if I click on the added button, this is going to show me employ added works, right? So our things are working. So if I click up here, you can see the ID is also populated with the URL, right? 
Okay, so now we are routing to this uh, to the right path where we need to and uh, now I need to do here is to go inside my employ dot um, All I need to do here is to go to my uh, Let's go up inside the employ dot employ dash added dot component dot ts file all right because we need to add it now there is a concept which is the activated route so how we can bring up an activated route to to open up our detail for an object of the employee right how how we can do it so first thing you need to do is to define here import and let's get bring up here the activated route which i believe is not x it's c right so we bring up here our activated route from the angular router right so let's bring up here angular slash router and we bring up here and now next step is that uh, we need to bring up inside our constructor i need to bring up here private and let's bring up here route and inside route we have to define the activated route all right and inside that I need to check this out by by, by using the uh, inside ng on in it I need to bring here console.log in order to check the, the route that it's working well or uh, fine or not so this dot um, which is this dot route dot snapshot dot params dot id all right so saves it okay so and um, I need to do one more step here, which I believe it's uh, okay. Let's save it and check this out. All right. So I click on here. I click on the edit. This is gonna get me get the ID one, which is working fine. And if I click on the edit, and this is gonna reflect the ID nineteen. All right. So we are getting the right route for the right detail page. Okay. So next thing I'm gonna do here is to create a function is to get the data. All right. So um, all I'm going to do here is to create a function get data and this dot data service the name of the service that we are using um, So I need to import that first here. So let just after the uh, Just remove that for now and let's bring up here private and uh, Give it the the name of the service which is data service so data uh, service and bring up here the with the capital D data service. So data service. All right, I press enter and it automatically import over here, right? Okay, now our data service is imported, and now let's define inside you get data. So this dot data service dot the name of the function which actually we are getting and retrieving the data from. We will get from the service so all i'm going to do is to go inside my data.service.ts file which should be inside my service folder all right so let's create here the function with the name of get employee by id all right just create that and remove this unnecessary result right so get employee by id and here i need to just simply grab the same all i need to do is to just remove the uh, delete to the get request and uh, let's go inside my employee controller the name of uh, my API if I just go to api.php because I'm now going to get the specific employee detail so let's gonna show you that one as well so I just copy that and let's go inside my employee controller and you can see it will find the uh, find the employee ID on respective of the ID if it's null it will say employee not found and if if the results found is gonna response of 200 success and it will retrieve the re result we will retrieve the result if that ID is uh, if that ID includes and have the data inside the database all right Okay, so what I'm gonna do inside my api.php, I'm gonna grab this employee slash id and let's back into the, all right, and let's remove this, which includes the id, all right, and now we need to bring this id in, and this id is actually coming from the, if I go to my employee-component.ts, so this dot data service and get employee by id, the name of the method, let's bring up the this dot id, and uh, so dot subscribe and let's get the response right so response and console dot log and check this out all right saves it 
and now it's saying id of any i need to just bring this in all right so id colon any all right saves it and let's go back and check this out okay so um hmm. okay now next thing i'm gonna do is to just just um comment this out and let's bring up here an id which is coming from this so this route is actually coming from the, this dot id we will have to bring this inside the ng on init method so this dot id is equal to so this will fetch the param id right so the snapshot so i just bring this in inside the id and also i need to call this function so let's bring up here this dot get data and saves it all right so let's have a look and see now we can retrieve the data all right so that's fine now if i just want to retrieve the data for the id2 so we are getting the data as well all right so that's fine next thing i'm going to do here is to uh, populate the data on the form so i need to get the same employee.company.html form i just copy that up and just remove this paragraph tax and remove the table which we don't need it up and uh, let's make that update all right, and we don't need that. So just remove that because we are using here update. So let's have a look. So if our values have been populated, which, uh, which shows that cannot read property name of undefined. All right, so just refresh this and click on here. It says cannot read property name of undefined. All right. Okay, so for that reason, yeah. I need to go inside my employee edit. Yeah, employee dash edit. I need to comment this out. And the reason why it's actually not getting the data. So we are using here this dot data. I need to bring up here an array of the data. So let's bring up here data, which includes all the information on the specific result. So this dot data, I bring this in, in, in using the response. All the response that we are getting in, we we pass inside the data and let's bring the, this dot employee. Um, all right, so we need to fetch the employee model. So let's bring up inside. We have our model already created, which is employee.ts, which includes name, email, and salary. And all I'm gonna do here is bring our employee model. So employee equal to new employee. And now it's automatically import here and let's bring up here the results. So this dot employ depending on the employee model and pass the data. So this dot data and saves it. Now let's back and go back here. And now you can see that on ID one, we have our name, John, email and salary. And if I go to my um abination at the right gmail uh, email and that's going to reflect the data here right so if i just try to click on the update and this is gonna nothing happen because we have to add our update button so this is gonna be done in my next section so i hope you guys will enjoy and i want to see you for the next and the last final part and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel